whether we're worrying about their privacy or wondering what cool new app they're using now. It's worth paying attention to what teenagers are doing on Facebook. <sighs> on this Upgrade Your Life, how the 13 to 20 set is interacting with Facebook now and what we can learn from the social networks they're flocking to. A recent study found that 94% of teens still have a Facebook account, but they're using it less and using it smarter. More than half have tightened down their privacy settings and regularly delete or edit previous posts. Basically, teens have realized that Facebook is more like a family reunion than the private party they wanted it to be. They still post photos and use the messaging service, but status updates, uh, no. And they're all about new social networks. First, it was Instagram, good for photo sharing with funky filters, and it was great until mom and dad showed up there too. Twitter saw a doubling of teens last year, and it's a good social network if your musings are topical and timely. But increasingly, the hot sites create private networks, ones that automatically restrict who can see your updates. Like PATH, private and very personal, as it limits your friend list to 150 people. Even more popular, messaging services like Kik and WhatsApp. They've bitten into Facebook messaging here in the U.S., and globally, services like WeChat in China, Kakao Talk in Korea, and Line, if you're in the Middle East or Asia, they've really flourished. If you want to downgrade what you pay for your SMS texting plan, think about these as alternatives. And you've no doubt heard of Snapchat, a way to send pictures that self-destruct after being viewed. But this is fraught with peril, because the recipient can grab a screenshot before the pic that was sent is actually deleted. But it is hot, to the tune of 150 million snaps a day. And it is a fun way to share casual, goofy pics that aren't meant to signify deep meaning in your life. And teens do seem to understand privacy a lot better than they did in the early days of social media. But there's still a desire to put themselves out there in a very public way. And that's where microblogs like Tumblr and Feed come in. They're heavily skewed toward mobile use, and they're more a tool for self-expression than Facebook's biographical life casting, telling all the mundane details of your day. So take your lead from the teens. If you've got Facebook fatigue, there are a lot of other ways to communicate and connect. Thanks for watching. For Yahoo News, I'm Becky Worley.